Good morning. Happy Easter. I'm Chris. Find your high vibe. And good morning to everybody in D's group. Happy Easter. So I'm going to give you a final update on my um, rice jar experiment. This is the love jar said nice things to it. It has these two nasty spots. Gross. This is the neutral jar. It's got a few, ugh, a few spots. More than this, right? The positive jar has two spots. And the bad jar. Hi, Heather. The bad jar is icky. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spots. It didn't get really gross. I mean, we weren't very aggressive in our in our shaming or negative talk. Um, but then, I, uh, so I bought a case of these of these um, jars, and now what can I use them for? Three three ideas, and one I've. I've always wanted to do like a prayer jar or a little box. Um, so a prayer jar, am I missing one? A prayer jar, or you could kind of turn it into a positive worry jar. You know, write something down that you're worried about and throw it in the jar, kind of like handing over your, your worry to the universe. You could do it that way. And I think it would be cool to have kids do this to kind of see what they're thinking. Um, so prayer jar, worry jar, wish jar, wish, prayer, worry, any of those, right? So that's all for me this morning. John's outside hiding Easter eggs in the snow. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful Easter Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow morning.